welcome Gemini. Happy Valentine's Day, Gemini. Okay, so Gemini, this is a good week for you. It's an air week, so you can breed in this week, Geminis. I love you guys so much. Ooh, Geminis, Geminis, Geminis. So, all right, Geminis. Yes, Geminis, it's going to be good, okay? It's going to be good, Gemini. so happy Valentine's. Wow, Geminis, it's going to be very good. All right, let's go in the week and see what is coming out for you, Geminis, because I see good news could be coming in for you guys. So, Geminis, on Monday, you have the energy of the star. You, you, you. Okay, Geminis, so that's good, Monday. Tuesday, I see the energy of the Eight of Pentacles. So you could be successful with something at your work. Um, I, if you uh, have your home business, you could be successful. You got to be aware of your partner in this week, Gemini. Whatever is transpiring, um, your partner, you got to be aware of your partner. I see a cycle is coming to this deceptiveness. If you're in a relationship, and you feel as if deceptiveness is at play, it is, okay? Um, your partner, Gemini. I see you're ha going to be having a new start, and this is good. This is very good, Gemini, because whatever has been transpiring with some of you Geminis out there, it hasn't been very good. But I see Friday, you could be going out with someone new, okay? I see that you're going to be overcoming any situation. Is this the woman or the man? A queen of one. Any situation that the queen of one wanted to create in your life. You're great. A, a queen of ones and the king of ones. So, Gemini, be aware of these people. These people are 50 years and older, okay? And you got to be aware of what is transpiring in this week. Because this week is a week where... There seems to be some deceptiveness at play with these two people. It could be your parents, okay? Um, but there is some deceptiveness that these two people have tried um, to do. And the energy is so it's as if the universe is saying, hell no, back, back, back up, okay? So Gemini, you could be in a relationship with an Aries or a Sagittarius, um, these people could be your boss, they could be your parents, they could be um, people who you know, but they try to do something. Yeah, and you are going to be overcoming whatever they try to do, you're just going to be overcoming then, Gemini. All right, so you have the energy of the Six of Wands. You're going to be having some good news, Geminis. Um, whatever is transpiring, good news. I see the end is coming to an Aries Leo or a Sagittarius woman. This is a very deceptive woman, whoever she is, an end is coming. I see you are you are going to be coming out of whatever that you were dealing with. You're definitely Gemini. Um, I see you are going to be you and a friend is going to be healing a situation. Could be in Monday, but it, it falls on Monday, but it could be anytime else in the week, okay? So I see you're happily, um, you receive some message on Monday, um, and you're so happy that you're resolving a situation between you and a friend, and this is going to be good. On to, I see some deceptiveness at your work that is going on, or deceptiveness with your work. So you gotta be careful, Gemini, when it comes on to your work or your business. Someone could be stealing from you, okay? Someone could be stealing from you. I see deceptiveness, but we're going to be looking because I see some deceptives. People could be taking your work and um, saying it's theirs. I see a new start that is going to be coming up. Um, this new start is coming up because you, you have released yourself from a horrible relationship that you got caught up with because now you're seeing the truth to your, your partner, whoever this partner is. Now you're seeing the truth to your partner. This person was being very deceptive for a long time. I see money is coming in for you, Gemini. So this is good. Um, the hurt, the, the world is bringing you financial stability again, because you were in a relationship and this person was taken, taken from you. I see an end to a cycle with an Aries Leo or Sagittarius and this person came back up. 
So you are definitely dealing with an older man, 50 years and older. And I see a cycle is coming in um, for this man. You're ending a cycle with this man because you realize who deceptive this man is. I see you're finding strength moving forward. Okay. I see you're definitely finding strength moving forward. I see you're communicating. I see communication is going to be coming to you. I see that an Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius man is on the investigation. This man is 50 years and older. Then I see some regrets. Um, you, you have some regrets and you have some regrets for some of you with your mom. So if your mom is an Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius, you have huge regrets. For some of you, this could be a girlfriend that you have regrets with. And this is double energy that is coming up. So a lot of you are going to be having issues with Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius, men and women, 50 years and older. I see here regrets. I see here that some of you, if you were married or in a relationship or this person was your friend, that you have huge regret ever dealing with this person. I see that an, um, an investigation, people are going to be working together to help you to resolve an investigation, okay? So it's as if either you are, you are under investigation because you were connected to an Aries Lee or a Sagittarius man, and I see a healing is going to be coming in. So Gemini, this week is gonna be grand for you, twice the energy of the star number 17 is here twice uh, twice number 17 is eight so um um infinity of abundance is going to be coming in for you gemini so, so gemini's i see you're going to be receiving some message that financial abundance is coming in for you guys so money is coming in gemini it has taken a while but i see that finally um, the resolution for you, Gemini, is that this week is when you're going to be um, realizing that some money is going to be coming in for you. So it's beautiful, Gemini. So I see you feel, um, it's as if you feel as if, uh, okay, so some of you could be selling a house, some of you, a relationship has ended, you're, you know, and you you feel a little bit deprived because uh, you would have hope to still be in the house with that um person or you would have been open that the it would there could be a healing where you two could have come back together and i see that you gemini's are really wondering because i see that that was your hope and dreams for you gemini's and as i look at this reading i see you gemini are going to be finding your way out of uh, and healing issues with friendship, okay? Because you have regrets because a woman that is an Aries, Lee, or a Sagittarius, 50 years of older, have let you do something against a friend. And this is like, it's really hurting you. Um, You could have speak up against a friend or work against a friend or did something deceptive against a friend. And this is someone who you hold very deeply and this woman whoever this woman is you're like i wish i never had connected with this person coming out of this um i see that you're going to find inner strength you're going to be moving forward and i see if you got caught up in an issue where there was some deceptiveness at place i see people in uh, whoever is investigating the situation is going to be helping you out because they realize that you have some deceptive people around you and these are um um and you are going to be finding an healing okay so deceptiveness i see some of you dealing with a a virgo i see some of you dealing with a virgo um this could be a mother figure or this could be just a, a random person could be a Virgo on the workplace, however that is go. Uh, be careful with this Virgo. I see the seven. Um, I see this Virgo is not really honest, okay? Um, it's someone, uh, it could be a manager or that sort of thing, not really honest. I see that finally you Virgos, fi sorry, 
um gemini's is going to be getting out of a bad relationship omg however you have gotten yourself in a relationship with an aries leader a sagittarius this could be a businessman or this could be a boss on the work floor how deceptive oh not you how deceptive and you're really getting out of this so finally a cycle is coming in i see a lot of you gemini's are going to be using this period to get out of some uh, uh arbor relationship that you have been in okay so let me put on my glasses because these cards are really teeny beeny teeny beeny but i love them so much uh okay so you're you're <clears throat> you uh, you you were in a period where your strength was out and now you have regained your strength and your power and i see that you and a friend were having some issues or you and friends or a friend was having some issues and now you finally find a way of resolving this so this is um absolutely fabulous then we look at uh, the energy at work i see some deceptiveness at work and it has to do with um however this deceptiveness is coming up it could be um a deceptiveness with a situation with your work energy of the empress is here but whatever is transparent it has to do with your materialistic stability so if you're selling um something or you're receiving something i see um a, a, a virgo is here whether a man or a woman it's not being very deceptive but i see that um it's as if they're watching over how this person is going to resolve this issue okay so um deceptive deceptive and it could be a liberal or it could be a lawsuit some deceptiveness but it has to do with your work or your business so, I see the devil. I see that you were in a deceptive relationship and it could be a relationship on the work floor because you have the eight. There's a lot of money is going to be coming in for you, Gemini's. Whatever is transpiring, you have the nine of pentacles, the three of pentacles, the ten of pentacles, and you have another infinity. A whole lot of eights is coming up. But you were in a relationship or married to someone and this person is only for money. It's This person is just only for money. And I see that you you are going to get out of the, this relationship. But I see the money is coming in. But I don't think you should tell this person about the money. I think you should get out of the relationship and leave this person, okay? I see some of you were dealing with... Um, a Taurus, Virgo, a Capricorn, and an Aries, Leo, a Sagittarius. And I see the circle is now going to be broken. I see that these two men are on the investigation, whether they're in business together or they're just deceivingly, two deceivingly deceptive businessmen. I see that they are on the investigation. And I see you're going to be removing out of this circle with these people because you realize how deceptive they were. Again, um, some issues with friends. I see um, whatever the issue is. I see communication um, with friends um, is not really there. I see you're trying to find inner strength to deal with this person, this friend in your life because you want a new start. You have always started having a new start with this person. But is it that it's not going to happen because these two people have created something in order for you and that person not to have this new start? And I see you're very un uh, unhappy about not being connected with this person because you find this person to be very, um, uh, you know, this person makes you feel safe, okay? Um, and this friend could be a Capricorn um, that you you realize that you have lost this person okay so however is that you wanted to communicate with this person but because of two other um these businessmen are very deceptive and you're not seeing it because i think some of you gemini's are only focused on money or people that has money and you're not seeing the truth about these two businessmen they're very deceptive they're about to be caught don't be the one who's going to be caught up in this thing 
I see a offer. I see you're going to be offering someone love. I see you are going to be, some of you are going to be offering, um, or an Aries, the or Sagittarius is going to be offering you love. Um, it could be a mother figure because this one is in the upright position. So it could be positive because I see this person is definitely going to be offering you love. This woman is 50 years and older. Then I see you dealing with an Aries Leo or Sagittarius man. And I see this man, there's an end coming in to this man. Whoever this man is, his there is there is no new start for this person. An end is coming into this man because he has blood on his hands. Whatever he has done, there is blood on the hands of this Aries Leo or Sagittarius person. But I see you, Gemini, are going to be having an healing, okay? Some of you, if you're in a relationship with an Aries Leo or Sagittarius, they might ask you to do an abortion in this week. So, Gemini is a, is, is, is a really wonderful week for you, Geminis, because what is coming up, Geminis, is that um, Nine of Pentacles again, Geminis. So, you rock, Geminis, Nine of Pentacles again. So you have twice the energy of nine of pentacles. Good news about money is going to be coming in Gemini's. Okay. This is fab, fab, fab. Okay. Your ship is coming in Gemini in this week. It looks beautiful. I see. Um, but Gemini, when you get this money, do not lend a Taurus, Virgo, or a Capricorn. Um, this looks like a Virgo. Do not lend this Virgo your money. You will never see this money again. Do not lend this Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius man Virgo. You are connected with these two men. Their friends are so-called um, criminal um, together who are working together. One is a Virgo and the other one is an Aries, Leo man. You gotta remove yourself from these two people because they're about to go down. They're connecting with you and that's why they use you to um, extort more money out of uh, your friends because uh, they are in financial problem. Let go of this Virgo and let go of this Leo man because they're about to go down. So however they're going down, don't be the one that is going down with with them so virgo i see really you're dealing with friendship issues with friendship number 66 your financial abundance is going to be good i see a legal suit and some deceptiveness um but what is coming up is that the nine of abundance is here for you virgo and the nine of pentacles i see the three of wands you're looking forward to better grounds and I see the five, which is emotionals with your friend. So I did say to you, um, 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 Gemini's that you are losing a friend and this friend is coming up. You're losing a friend and this friend is at Capricorn. So whoever, cause you wanted an eel in between you and this Capricorn and a, a, a Capricorn and a Taurus. You wanted an eel in between you and this Capricorn and this Taurus. But I'm not seeing it happening because you had two friends that pushed you to do something and this is happening. So for the Valentine's is that money is coming in. Life is wonderful. Your hard work and dedication to your dreams will provide you with a great peace and contentment. Take time to enjoy quiet moments of your reflection. Feel free to buy yourself small luxury gifts you have earned the financial successful and independence you now enjoy again my guides are saying that there are some of you virgos who are going to be receiving a huge amount of money but a virgo and and leo man is going to want to borrow the money do not give them because you will never see this money again i'm sorry to re repeat it myself Forgiveness is an important part of healing, okay? Forgive yourself and those around you because there was some unpleasant situation, okay? Grief is a normal part of life. 
ask your angel or those you love to help you move through the process of grief okay so some of you are grieving a relationship a friendship some of you are grieving um yeah a relationship and a friendship but some of you are so glad you got out of uh, your gold digger marriage or however that happens because some of you were with a gold digger and you're so happy that you got the money to um to feed the crave of this gold digger okay so be aware of that virgo uh gemini's you and this virgos do not lend this virgo your money you're not going to get it back okay i do love you and i'm wishing you a really wonderful um valentine's day i'm glad i'm so happy for you gemini that money is coming in namaste Thank you.